I'm really thrilled to be invited here to the Young Epilepsy Charity because it's epilepsy is really misunderstood. I can't believe it in this day and age, but it is. I have epilepsy myself, so I know I have a personal little chink into it. No one seems to know about it if it's not in their family. They seem to think it's some, I don't, I don't know what they think. Uh, you know, in history, people just thought you had demons in you or something. There's a part of me, I suppose because I'm quite well, and I haven't had a fit now for four years, there's part of me that feels rather privileged to, uh, to know what it's like. And as long as you've got people around you that don't panic, and don't make you more nervous or you feel you have to look after them, if that makes any sense. If you've got people around you who understand completely what's going on, it's doable. For the most part, you know, epilepsy is different for everybody. That's the other mystery. And the doctors who are looking after me say, you know, they don't understand all the ins and outs of it either. Um, they know what happens electricity and what's happening but they don't know why some people have many fits a day, why some people have a couple of fits in their lifetime and some people have one or two a couple of times a year, you know, it's, it's all different. I'm not a doctor so I can't help you. <laughs> in schools, schools should be right up to speed with it and maybe it should be discussed in schools whether they have any children with epilepsy or not, so that when they leave school and go out and work with people and see that people actually function completely normally with jobs for the most part, that it's good for kids to know all sorts of things about medical conditions. So it's not frightening and if you saw someone have what I call a turn in the street, you'd know how to deal with it.